Letter Venn is um, White Mare in Manx, directly translated. It is an apparition sort of thing of a of a horse, a white horse that comes in and kind of gets up to mischief and is bad in a sense. In times of like, uh, I would say celebration, but more around the Christmas period, around sort of December time and the celebrations that follow that in the various cultures it appears in. However, it is traditionally gone by a person hiding under a white sort of sheet or a garb. They have a horse's head, a, a, big, a big sort of skull. They hide behind and they go around typically a pub or a uh, party. Any sort of congregation of people and friends. And if the door was left open, the Mervain would sweep in through the door. In one story, it happened to go around the room and only go for three Irish fellows who didn't actually understand the culture as they had came across and ended up frightening them so much that one ran up the chimney, one ran out the door and one was frightened out of his senses. And it can only kind of be chased away when it, everyone gets sick of it. And they go, all right, out the door and they chase it out the door and close the door. I think it's a good symbolic way of showing the whole culture and tradition around the Lair and the Mary Lloyd and uh, the Kiki Shamajak because it really kind of brings everything together in a head and shows the letting loose nature of this whole tradition. It's also quite a funny thing to see because you're at a pub on Boxing Day and you see a horse draped in white and a skull come and snap at you. So it kind of shows it in a good way or uh, in a very striking way. So the Lair Vern kind of comes from the Mary Lloyd, which is a Welsh tradition, and it's connected to that because it's of its similarities, really. I'm not 100% sure if it came up at a particular time or if there was an event that sparked the Mary Lloyd and the Lair Vern. It's the way of any fable, really. It tells a story and it tells what to do and what not to do because of something. And it being in the Kagish Amajach, which is a, a time of rampant madness in reality, I think it shows a way to tell people, you know, calm down a bit in, in, in madness. But that's, that's my interpretation of the situation. Learning about your own culture and heritage and traditions and such is a really good way of getting down, I suppose, the word would be.